many of his stuff. He always kept it put up. Um, when he passed away, me and Daddy, we tried to save stuff, everything that we could. He had a, he had an old dairy barn and some stuff that we lost. Um, but uh, Daddy, Daddy has done a really good job of keeping everything kind of protected. Um, and we just had a huge amount of items. Um, I, I went through just thousands and thousands of things, cleaning stuff up, getting it organized, separating it. Um, it was a it was a huge task, but it's, uh, I'm glad we've, we've reached the end almost. So. Protect is fair and young. That is not fair and young. No, but she, <laughs> she, she But she let me tell you what. Let's do. Let's okay. get the hat. The hat's the most exciting thing. Two suits. And this one. Oh um, my gosh! Are y'all from Texas? Well, our, our, be Texas. our best friend is, is that the one, and he buying? runs the oh, museum. Yes. Yeah, listen, so. he said I've got to get Trace. the coat, and I've got yeah. to get the hat. Oh, I'm no, so excited! See, we yeah. got From the last estate sale, Granddaddy passed away in '96. I think Daddy had a sale in '98. There's been a whole generation of of bluegrass pickers and musicians in general that didn't get a chance to buy something the first time. So it gives them a good opportunity to come and get something that was Granddaddy's. So I think it's a it's a good thing. You know, we we still kept we didn't get rid of everything. We still got a lot of cool personal things that. He's giving me and Daddy. Um, this is just when you get when you got really like a, seriously a train load of stuff. It's hard to maintain all that stuff. It really is. So it's it's good to kind of thin the herd a little bit.